Tensions with Tehran reaching a fevered pitch tonight. Where do we go from here? Joining me now is the decorated Navy veteran who commanded the raid that killed Osama bin Laden, Admiral William McRaven. He's also got a brand new book out called Sea Stories, My Life in Special Operations. Admiral, great to have you. Thanks. Good to be here. Let's get to it. Your reaction to the Navy taking down this Iranian drone. Yeah, well, well, first, I commend the commanding officer. He absolutely took the, the right measures, the right steps. You know, his first priority is to protect his ship and his crew. Mm -hmm. uh, with that in mind, uh, I've got to believe that the surface search radar or the air search radar probably picked up this drone some ways out. So they knew the drone was coming. Uh, had the drone presented, I think, a real threat to them, an imminent threat, uh, a kamikaze-style attack, my guess is they would have engaged it with their close-in weapon system, which is a 20-millimeter gun. Mm -hmm. uh, what they chose to do, which again I think was the absolute right decision, was to jam the link uh, to the drone, therefore causing it to probably circle down and, and crash in the water. That was the right step. That was the way to de-escalate the problem and still take care of the, the ship and the crew. On screen, we are showing some of the technology they used. I should note that Iran's foreign minister had this to say earlier. Let's take a listen. We're not looking for escalation. We're not looking for a war. We're not looking for conflict. But the United States should stop targeting Iranian people. They're terrorizing our people. They're targeting ordinary Iranian civilians. That's worse than war. Admiral, your reaction? Yeah, well, I, I do think both sides need to tone down the rhetoric a little bit. You know, we've been dealing with the Iranians for decades in the, uh, the Persian Gulf and through the Straits of Hormuz. I've been through the Straits of Hormuz a half a dozen times. The Navy knows how to deal with the Iranians. We know how to prevent uh, a war. We know how to ensure that things don't escalate. But a miscalculation on the part of either side could be problematic. Uh, if you go back to the late 80s and, and the U.S. warship that shot down an Iranian Airbus, 290 people killed, these are the sort of things I worry about more than going to war. The United States does not want to go to war with Iran, and the Iranians clearly do not want the United States to go to war with them. It benefits no side. So I think we need to be thoughtful about how we approach this. We need to recognize this is kind of the way business is done in the Gulf. They will mm -hmm. continue to test us. Uh, I'm just concerned as we continue to ratchet up the rhetoric that it will serve neither side well. As a longtime Navy SEAL, you've led or been involved in many dangerous missions. Can you talk about the level of readiness and preparation of those sailors being in the Strait of Hormuz with the tensions with Iran? Yeah, I think every time you transit through the Straits of Hormuz, uh, and again, having done so a couple of times, I will tell you that the, the, the sailors and the Marines on board will elevate their level of readiness. The commanding officer will make sure that they are at peak readiness in terms of their weapon systems, in terms of uh, watch standards, in terms of everybody on the ship paying very close attention to what's coming from the Iranian side. So as they make that transit, of course, not only them, but the other ships in the amphibious ready group, uh, they'll be poised to deal with any threat that, uh, that might be coming at them. That's why, uh, I, as I said before, the Navy knows how to deal with these sort of threats. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been doing it for decades. We just need to continue to handle it exactly the way the CEO of the ship did today, which was instead of engaging it with weapons, engage it with a, a mechanism that can delink the drone, cause it to crash, and, uh, and nobody's worse for wear. Picking up on that, the fact that it was jammed, is it good to demonstrate to the Iranians the U.S. still has a technology edge? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, now, the Iranians know this. Uh, you know, our military is far superior to the Iranians, which is one of the reasons why they don't want to pick a fight with us. Uh, so the fact of the matter is, by showcasing this technology, I think it does put them a little bit back on their heels. Admiral William McCraven, thank you for your service, sir, and thanks for your time. My pleasure. Thanks.